All right, well, I guess it's confirmed because the thing I was asking was, is Dylan Brooks smarter than I think he is or that we thought he was, that you thought he was or whatever? At the end of the day, dude, you did what you did. You popped off with the mouth. You said it, right? Which is like, cool, you brought attention to yourself. Then you don't make yourself available for the media. But if you had scored 25 and you had kept LeBron to 12, you would have made yourself available for the media. So you lose all credibility when you only talk. Now he's dumber than I thought he was. I don't care if it's high school, college, division one, division three, it don't matter to me. Nobody likes the guy or girl that only talks when they're like, like, dude, you weren't talking the entire game. Then what? Now you're like, so so you you ran your mouth and and to say what you said didn't provide motivation. Were you at the game? Like, I don't play in the NBA. Shit, I didn't even like basketball. I just not like it's not my deal. I like baseball, football. I played hoops because they made me play it to stay in better shape. Like, through high school, that's it. But I watched the game. I watched LeBron. You're trying to convince all of us that you calling dude old, which was, was no, we didn't, again, we didn't know, right? It didn't work, but you think it didn't provide extra motivation? Why? Because they didn't lash out with their mouths. They lashed out with their play. And I'm not a guy typically going like, oh, my God, LeBron, LeBron James, I'm happy he's good. Like, I don't know LeBron James. Like, whatever. I'm into the psychology of stuff, where it is, athletics, business. I'm just very curious. And then you go, like, it, like literally my mouth had no, no effect. Ask your teammates. Hook them up to a polygraph machine or however the hell you determine if they're telling the truth and not just trying to be nice to you. And go, do you think that him popping off about James provided extra motivation they did not need? in a series and it could have swung the series i dude sports are i mean you watch all the time like there are people that do things when they're pissed off especially if they're already good and then you hear the general manager go like there were some distractions like we can't really comment and then you tell everybody everybody says he ain't gonna be overseas and next year whatever i don't worry he's gonna play what do i know but i know this from an NBA standpoint, like you don't suck, you play in the NBA. So nobody in professional sports, when you, they, when you go, they suck. They don't suck. It's impossible for them to suck at a sport when they're playing it professionally. They might suck relative to their peers in professional sports. They don't suck. The worst dude on any roster in any professional sport does not suck. The worst lady on any professional roster, she does not suck. She doesn't. So at the end of the day, but... When your skill set is limited relative to your peers, when you can't shoot near the way your peers can shoot, when you don't bring a lot else to the table, but this and 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 defense, dude, you gotta like you gotta own it. I mean, you were big and bad with the I don't care he's old, I don't respect him unless he drops 40. You gotta be sitting at that podium. I don't care if it's it's a business situation doesn't go right. You gotta be like, I'm here, man. What do y'all got to say about me? I'm here. Do I think it worked? No. I mean, they won, so that's all that matters, right? Like, it doesn't doesn't matter. Like, winner, they won. We lost, so no, it didn't work. What do y'all want to know? Yeah, they beat us by 40. I don't know if that means dropping 40 or not, but I ran up, popped off at the mouth, and I probably provided them some extra motivation I shouldn't have, and I'm sorry for that. And the jury was out, but the jury's in now. The jury was out when he said it before they played. Jury's in. LeBron wins. Brooks loses, and Brooks may have really helped significantly the Grizzly to getting beaten by the, what, two and a seven, by a seven right team. So, you know, I, I, I think you got to be really, really intelligent about that. Now, I thought maybe he's just smart. Maybe he shined a light on himself. Maybe he's going to play so good defensively. He's going to make a really big name for himself. It's going to be his coming out part of the NBA, and maybe he's going to tap the hoop and score 20 points. I mean, what the hell do I know about, you know, NBA basketball per se? But... At the end of the day, all your words got thrown back in your face. But more importantly, you were MIA when they wanted to ask about it. That's gutless. In anything you do, it's gutless. It's just straight gutless. Like, it totally is. You know what I mean? So, I, at the end, I, I'm just, and I think when you saw, and again, I, I think sports are Mike Cosmo of life. And I think we can learn a lot more from business. And you look at a lot of people that, that, that I continue to do business with, they have an athletic background, whatever level they were at, because they're part of a team, they've competed, they've won, they've lost, they've learned how to do both. And um, 
this this is very interesting to me to see what the result is. Because again, you also have to know who you're messing with, right? Like there's certain people, I don't think anybody should be off, off limits. Meaning like if they're talking, I think you should like, but you better be able to try to at least back it up. Like back in the day, you want to pop off a Jordan, that's your right. Like he plays in the NBA, played in the NBA. But if, but if you run your mouth and, and he torments you, you also have to go, hey, man, <laughs> I won't do that again. And coming off to the series with Golden, Golden State, and I think some of you young dudes better stop calling these guys old. I just, that's, I don't know a lot about, I keep watching it, but, you know, dude from the, you know, from the Kings did it. It's like, I, I don't know, it seemed to piss them off. I mean, Draymond brought it up. I just think, like, you better be careful what you ask for. Sometimes there's that old man shrink, get your ass whooped. I mean, I'm just like, you, you know, and again, you better be that guy if you're going to back it up. Like, you got to be that guy, you know? And and I think that when that guy does it and then he stands up or the guy tries it and it doesn't work and says, you know what, man? That would have been the psychology after game one, after the first game, whatever game number game that was, of saying like, hey, dude, I popped off. Dude ain't old. We lost. I shouldn't have said that. He showed me. I'm just going to play from now on and shut my mother freaking mouth. It pulls that pressure down a little bit. And if if Dylan Brooks, if those things weren't important, why do all these coaches work so hard not to give what? The whole bulletin board, that's all bullshit. I don't believe that. I think that transcends. I think if you're a parent and somebody goes, you're a bad parent and keeps saying, I think you're going to, if you're at your job and they go, here's the leaderboard. And this guy is in first place, and he's like, yo, you suck. I, I, I think human nature, don't wake a sleeping dog, my coach used to say. Like, you're beating people, just keep going. Like, you don't need to, why, why wake them up? And listen, LeBron James is a giant in the NBA. He's the, is the all-time leading scorer. He's obviously really good. Why mess with him? I, I did, for what? So I was... Interested because I thought it was an interesting tactic that I didn't understand, but I thought maybe he's smarter than I thought he was. And I've learned that he's dumber than I thought he was and also much more emotionally immature because he didn't at least just, just go out there and own it, dude. Like, sit there. It's not about the fine. I know you got the money. That's like, whatever. They find him like 25 grand or something, like whatever. But in part of this game, I think like, and I was listening to Kobe Bryant's wife in this video today saying that Kobe played for the people sitting up in the 300 level seats because they he never, you know, like they may have saved up all their money to come to one game. There are Dylan Brooks fans out there. There are people that do want to hear about they, there's fans at all the players and all the levels, dude. Like, like you just what? I, I take my ball and go home. I got my ass kicked and I'm out of here. No, you keep showing up. You take ass beat and you go back to school the next day with a couple black eyes. You're like, whatever. He kicked your ass. You're right, he did. And if he wants to fight again today, I'll fight him. He did kick my ass. I will agree with you 100%. You know, I learned when I was like probably 17 maybe and uh, that some people were really good at fighting, like 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 really good at it. Like they had really good hand movements. They moved their body really well. They knew what they were doing. They were in really good shape. They did it all the time. And until you encounter that, you just like you don't know, Right. And I'll never forget, my buddy's like, don't mess with him. He's a gold glove boxer. I'm like, I don't even know what that shit means. Like, I didn't have him, like, we weren't on the internet. We didn't have, like, cell phones. I'm like, I don't even know what that means. I'm going to tell you what, I ran my mouth enough and learned what it meant. But I didn't, like, I didn't hide from school for two weeks. I was like, yep, hit me a bunch. Never knocked me down. He's like, dude, you look terrible. He never knocked me down. Did he win? I don't know. We just, he never knocked me down, dude. But at the end of the day, like, what do you want me to say? He was better at it than me. Obviously. I said, I bet his hands hurt, but you got to own it. Like you, you can't just run and hide. So um, guess we learned. Does it mean not to mess with LeBron? I don't know. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. Didn't work out well. But uh, you can't be king of the world on your soapbox popping off of the mouth and hiding the next day. And don't kid yourself. It made a difference. And, and if you do that in any aspect of your life and pop off, you better be willing to take the content. And you better be that guy. You know, I've been on teams where we've had that guy. And he would say, because he was going to back it up. It motivated him enough. You're like, dude, let him do it. Because he's like, just kind of get out of his way right now. Like, he's got this, you know. And 
when I, whether it's been professionally or athletically on different levels, if I was that guy, fine. Like, I can do this. I can say that to you because if you run here, I will tackle you 100% of the time and you will not run me over. Like, I'm good. I got you right here. But but don't venture into pissing off these guys because then they got to cover I got to cover them down the field. You know, my cornerback used to be like, stop talking to them, dude. I got to cover them. Like, they don't need extra motivation, dude. You're slow ass just gets to play like at linebacker. You can't cover these dudes. So stop popping off them. Like, I, it's enough. They're pissed. Like, let me, you know, and. And you learn real well to, to to stay in your lane, if you will. So Dylan Brooks should have stayed in your lane, dude, because it was an awful, awful fucking sight for you when you when you got out of it. And uh, you know, you, what do you care about what I think? But I'm care about what y'all think. Should he should he have just not shown up to the post game? Is that cool? Is that what you do? You know, is he going to be playing in you know overseas? Everybody's like he's going to be playing in China next year. Is he? Yeah, am I wrong? Like, did it not provide bulletin board material? Is it complete bullshit? Like, am I just completely wrong because you have a different opinion or you're more qualified to have your opinion than me? Like, I'm cool, but I want to know it. I, I think this stuff's interesting. And, you know, I think outside of the professional athletes, these people that pontificate about it on TV, what the fuck do they know? They know more than you. You watch it too. They just study a little bit more. What, Stephen A knows more than you? Why? Because he screams? I mean... He didn't play. He didn't play at that level remotely either. We all have, you know, a lot of us collegiate careers that we could say are, you know, like, dude, it, like none of us were playing professionally either. Why don't we have the ability? Hell, maybe you just played in high school. Cool. Maybe you played in middle school. Who cares if you didn't play professionally? You don't have the right to have their opinion anyway. And and I think we 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 have so much of this awesome learning experience that is this arena of sports that really transcends life and teaches us a lot of life lessons. Well, that's why I think kids should play sports. I think that however good they are or they aren't, they should play. I think they should compete. They should learn. They should they should realize what it feels like to compete for somebody else and be part of a team and love your teammates and and be willing to do those things and take instruction and 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 deal with adversity and and you know deal with bad calls. And they'd be like, coach, that wasn't a foul. I'm like it, I'm, it's funny because the ref called it a foul. So I'm 100 percent sure it was a foul. Coach, it wasn't a strike. The umpire called it a strike. I'm 100% sure it was a strike because he called it a strike. That's what makes it a strike. Coach called holding. I didn't hold him. Yeah, dude, I'm pretty sure, though, the back judge, like, he called holding. Like, I, dude, like, I don't care. It's They called it. It wasn't off sides. Well, they blew the whistle. <laughs> and they sure as hell called off sides. So it, it doesn't, and that's life, right? Like, there are times in life you're like, I didn't do anything. I didn't do that. I'm like, okay, but they said, you okay, dude, I hear you, but that's the way it works. But I showed up to work on time every time. Okay, but dude, their boss can still do what he or she wants. And I think we need to do a lot more talking about some of this stuff because it's actually pretty interesting. And I mean, if you want to turn on Skip Bayless and let him scream and yell about when he's dying, and I, I mean, go for it, dude. I mean, that's on you. I, 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 I listen to the athletes that play at a high level talk about it because they interest me. I tune out the ones that scream and yell don't. And if they're like my man, Ernie Johnson, who's a beast, and they're great facilitators of the, of the professional athletes, then I'm in. But outside of that, um, Dylan Brooks, is he, am I wrong? Is he not dumber than I think he is? Should he have just, was he not running and hiding? Did it not affect the series? Would it not have made a difference if he hadn't opened his mouth when the Lakers still have won by the exact same amount? Or maybe... You just find that some of these athletes that compete at a very high level don't want to lose the ability to play, as they say in that movie Moneyball, right, the kids game. And one of the things that's probably really close to home is when you challenge their athletic mortality, their age. And when you do that, it might make them not just prove you wrong, but prove them like where they are for themselves because they don't know how to, I don't know, can you imagine playing in front of, Millions of people a year cumulatively. Millions of people watch you on TV. You know, 15,000 a pop at all these arenas 82 times a year. And then all of a sudden, boom, that's gone. Wouldn't you fight as hard as you could to keep it? And if somebody just said, you look a certain way, you act a certain way, you say stupid stuff, that's probably a lot less impactful than dude's old. What that means is he needs to get out of the game and I'm coming. Well, that dude might fight tooth and mother f and nail to not go nowhere so uh you know but i want to know what your thoughts are i appreciate it. always interested and thanks for your time as always appreciate you listening